Hi, welcome back to my kitchen. It's been a while. And uh, first thing I want to do is thank each and every one of you for all your prayers when I had fallen and got hurt. That wasn't fun. The worst part of it was not being able to share recipes with each and every one of you. And you don't know how much it meant to get all the prayers from you. I really, really appreciated them. Sometimes, most of the times, prayer is all that works. So thank you very much. Now today I'm going to be marry, making, marrying, yeah, I'm gonna marry all this stuff together. Uh, but today I'm gonna to be making one of my husband's favorite dishes and one of Greg's favorite dishes. It's very simple. It's uh, tube steak and onions and sauce. They love this. I've made this for years and years. And um, it's very simple. I've got some of my sauce in my pan already. And I put this in a slow cooker and start it. Um, but they love it. And I always loved it because I could put this on and go to work, come home, and it would be done. Because one of them would have... Um, went ahead and got potatoes ready to go with it. Once we get, I take my onions and I just separate them and put them down in the bottom like so. And the onions make it delicious. I don't know how much I'm going to need. Um, we'll wait and see. I peeled another one. They had beautiful Vidalia onions. Oh, I keep hearing something. I guess it's my jar hitting my dish. And I'm slicing my onions maybe uh, not quite a quarter of an inch because they're going to bake down and But, um, now my sauce already has a lot of seasoning in it. You'll want to have um, oregano and, you know, I may not, it still bothers me some. And, okay, I may not put just a little bit of this in there. Yeah, I think that'll be enough. Yeah. And then I'm going to, yeah, my pan's warm enough. I have my pan heating up here. Um, I'm going to put my tube steaks, I cut them. Now, I don't want to a lot of flour on, but I want enough so I can get them nice and brown. Get a nice brown coat on there. And I'm going to do both sides of them. Get that one in there. And then I'll go back and do the top of it. I could just do them all at once here and then I have them all done, but my now you'll want to season each layer of your food. I didn't like tomato sauce because like I said, it's already got all kinds of seasoning in it from making my homemade sauce. Um, I have oregano and um, garlic in it, um, thyme. This is when I was making it. We had all of that in our garden. But I would have down below what all I put in it. 
and you don't want to fry this completely done. You just want to get a nice coating on both sides. this in my crock pot for about four hours and this would be so good when it's all finished. I'm going to wash my hands. I always have a little jar of um, garlic. I don't use a lot of garlic powder. I can get the real garlic, fresh garlic. That's what I use. So, turn that up and brown that a little bit more on the other side now. So, we're going to use some garlic cloves on this. This is one thing that I don't think I'm much in there because we love it and it's good for you. It really is good for you. Girl. It's good for you. So, put garlic in anything you can. And I don't know about the weather there, but I'm sure some of you have, well, have one chunk in there, but I'm not going to dig for it. Um, I'm sure a lot of you got some bad weather. I know we did. My daughter called yesterday and said her husband would be down to plow for us. We just live a mile down the road and he comes down in his four wheeler and boy, by the time he got done, we had some big piles out there. But I said he didn't have to because we weren't going anywhere. But she said, well, you never know when you might have to. But I think we got, I don't know, eight to ten inches. I feel so sorry for those people that got a foot to two feet. But thank God, thank you, Lord, we did not lose power. There were so many people that did. And I'm just so thankful that we didn't. Okay, talking, and I don't remember how many I put in there, but just for the fact that we'll put one there. I know it took my husband almost all day to get the car door unfroze. My car was in the garage, and his wasn't. So, I feel like he never got the door open. Okay. Hmm, that is going to be good. Going to be good, 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 good. Gonna work my hands again. Get some of that off. I want most of it in there. Yeah. Oh, that smells good. Okay. My meat has fried long enough. So now what I'm going to do, and you can do this in a smaller crock pot if you would like to. I wanted to use one of my longer ones. I have three of these, but I thought I would use this one because it has a timer on it. And it also has 
a um, temperature control and I wanted to lay my meat out across it so that it could be out like this. And I want just a little bit of that dripping. Not a lot, but I do want a little bit of it because I think it tastes good. So I'm going to put two spoons like this full in there. Now if you want to uh, use one of the round crock pots, go right ahead and do it. I've done it in those. I did it in those in the beginning because they didn't make these. But I love these because I can pop this right in the oven and I can um, take the dish and set the dish right on the table too. Although the holder that it goes in is very pretty, the crock pot part of it. So I just uh, use that too on the table. I don't have to be fancy, but they're pretty enough to be fancy with. And at Christmas time, I used all three of them and took them to my daughter's with food in them. I'm going to put just a little bit of this over the meat because we don't want it to dry out. But we're going to put a lid over it so it's going to bring all your moistures up to it. I'm going to use, I use um, a quart in the bottom and I'm going to use about half of this. Now I'm going to put it in my crock pot and set it at 400 for about four hours and of course I will check it and if it needs turned down I'll turn it down some but it makes a pretty dish my husband will enjoy that for dinner tonight I'll put it in there and put the top on it and just seal it lock it down so it keeps all those great moistures in there Okay, now it's going to sit right there for about four hours. I will check it off and on. And uh, I did have this preheating. And we'll see what happens. And then I'll be back. I'm going to check it probably in about two hours and see how it's doing. So I'll be back and let you know how it's coming. Okay, I am back. My Swiss steak and onions and peppers is all done. And I'm going to take it out now. Um, and I had it on high actually for four hours. Um, I did check it in between. I mashed down my, um, I smashed down the um, meat down in the sauce as it the onions got cooked more and uh, the peppers they got more up in the sauce oh, God, it smells so good anyway we're going to um, pick some of this out and try it now I like I said I'll have all the instructions and everything posted down below but um, if you don't have homemade um, spaghetti sauce, that's what I used. But if you don't have that, because that has all your sauces, uh, your spices and everything in it, you can use um, Boughton. But I used my homemade, and then I also used um, a tablespoon of parsley, Italian seasoning salt, um, oregano, and I did use four of the garlic cloves because we like garlic real well. And um, that depends on what you want. 
yourself. Those onions look so good. And then my husband wanted peppers in it this time. I don't do that every time. But he asked for some green peppers. So I put those in it. And um, that's going to be really good. So I did that. Now, when I taste that, oh, that looks so delicious. But I did cook it in there for four, just right at four hours on high. Oh, that meat I could cut without the knife. Take a little piece off the onion. I'll make a mess. Probably get it all over my shirt, but that's okay. It wouldn't be me if I didn't. I do want to taste that. Mmm. Mmm. That is delicious. Okay. Mmm. I hope you'll try that recipe. Very good. Very, very easy to make. Now you can make it in your round crock pot. Pile up, just put everything in there, the meat on top, and it'll sink on down in the sauce as it cooks. You can put that in your crock pot, go to work, leave it in there all day while you're at work if you would like. And um, if you do that, you're going to leave it in there, say, eight hours while you're at work. I'd put it on medium to low. I wouldn't put it on high, but uh, it'll be okay. So I hope you'll all try this, and I want to thank you again for all your prayers. They really helped me while I was recovering from my accident, and um, we'll be bringing you a lot more recipes, Greg and I both. So I just, um, I just want to thank you bunches for that. And thank you for coming in today and watching this one. So we'll be bringing you a lot more recipes real soon. Thank you, Matches.